Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a submission video. So if you've watched my previous videos, you'll have seen that I did a review of a new UK grading company called Tree Frog Grading. Um, they gave me a free trial and the understanding was that they would grade some cards for me for free and I would honestly review their service, um, their slabs, the whole, the whole thing, the whole start to finish. Um, and I was so happy with what I received through them and the quality and the way they graded the cards, etc. that I actually decided to send my own submission into them. So what I've done is I have decided to send these cards, which were actually in my personal submission pile ready for PSA. However, I thought I would pick these out for a couple of reasons. First of all, um, as most of you will know, the legendary collection hollows are very hard to grade just because there is so much going on on them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out of the semi ridges so we can look at them up close. Second of all, it's kind of going to tie in quite nicely um, with another legendary collection video that I've got coming up. Um, and as you can see behind me, my, where is it? Nope, this side. There we go. My legendary collection booster box, which I will be opening. Um, so I thought We'll stick to the legendary theme. So like I said, I was very, very happy with the service that I received from Tree Frog Grading. Yes, it was a free trial, but it was for me to honestly review what I thought of the service, what I thought of the slabs, what I thought of the grading, and I was happy with it. So I have decided to send cards from my own personal collection. Like I said, these were just waiting, ready to go to PSA, but I thought I'd pick them out and send them to Tree Frog instead. So I'm gonna take them out the semi-rigid so we can look at them up close. Um, so you're seeing them raw before they get sent off to be graded. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna take them out the penny sleeves for you so that you can see them up close. Now, I'll give you the best up close on the condition but already on this one if we catch it in the light properly you'll be able to see some lines on the hollow there i think you might be able to see it just there like that i think this could get an eight but like i said a few lines on the hollow the back is very clean on this tiny little bit of winding up in the corner there so what I'm going to be doing is you're seeing these cards raw now and then at the end of this video you're going to see them back with me once they've been graded so hold on till the end of the video if you want to see what grades these cards actually got so now we're moving on to Dark Dragonite this one has a few scratches on the hollow again if I hold that in the right angle you'll definitely be able to see them there can you see above the tail um, and we'll have a look at the back. This does have a couple more white nicks, as you can see in both top corners, and the centering is off on this. So a few more defects, obviously, than the um, first card. Okay. And like I said, I picked out Legendary because now we're getting to the reverse hollows. We're going to start with Articuno um, because... There is a lot going on with these. The fireworks, it's it's crazy. To get these in a 10, a PSA 10, is obviously quite hard, but I can already see there's a couple of scratches on the lower end of the card there. Can you see maybe in the bottom right-hand corner? And we'll check the back. It's a beautiful card, I love this card. Bit of whitening up here on one of the edges. Okay. Right, next up we have Pokemon Trader. Get that out the penny sleeve. But yeah, there's these cards to get, you know, absolutely no print lines, absolutely nothing wrong with the front. There is so much hollow on them, as you can see. Just going to show you there. The ones that are lighter are just a little bit harder to see on the camera. And we'll check the back as well. Right, there is some whitening on this one down here in the corner. Tiny little bit of whitening up on the edge here. And there is a little white nick at the top as well. Centering doesn't look too bad on that one. 
So like I said earlier in the video, I, I was very happy with the service provided by Tree Frog Grading that I'm confident and happy to send some cards um, that I absolutely love from my own collections. Here we've got Weedle, Reverse. Most of these, I would say, obviously the ones with less scratches, probably maybe more towards a nine, but a few, I'd say eight, um, just because the whitening, we've got a white nick down here in the bottom corner and along the edge, tiny little bit up here. But yeah, I am very, very excited to open my legendary collection box as well and just having these cards out makes me more excited. I'd like to hear your guys' opinions on how you think I should open my legendary box. Now we've got Ponyta. I might do a mini series where I open a few packs each time. I don't know if I'm gonna do a box break, but drop in the comments what would be the ideal way for me to open the legendary collection booster box for you. What would you enjoy the most? Right, we've got some whitening up here on the edge. Again, centering isn't too bad. Let's just take one more look at the front there. Yeah, there's a couple of scratches, kind of in the middle. I'm trying to shine the light across it. Beautiful card. Then we are moving on to Machop. There's that little dude. Oh, there's Frank in the background. I've moved the camera so you can get like a full on view of him now. There is Machop. Few print lines on this. Couple of little scratches on the front as well at the bottom. I don't know if you can see in the middle in between where it punch, says punch and kick. There's a tiny little mark there. And then on the back. Again, very, very minor whitening on a few of the corners. Centering is not bad at all on that. Okay, then we will move on to Dratini. Might be harder to see some of the marks on the front of this, although I think the front of this one is pretty clean. These are just my favorite reverse hollows. I know I bang on about them, but they are just such lovely cards. And then the back of Dratini, tiny, tiny, minuscule bit of whitening up the top there. But again, centering. I'm just trying to get a good look on it. Might be very, very slightly off. So out of all the cards that I'm showing, let me know which one's your favorite and also let me know which one you think is probably gonna grade the highest as well. I'd be intrigued to know your guys' opinion. Obviously you should be able to see them pretty clearly. So we've got Tentacruel here. Definitely a few print lines down the bottom there. More towards the right hand side, can you see that? And, and we'll spin this guy round. Top right hand corner, the whitening. Tiny, tiny little bit in the bottom right and tiny, tiny bit in the bottom left. If I move my hand, you can see it there against the black background and also a little bit here. As you can see. I'd probably say it's seven maybe on this one. So that was Tentacruel. Then we are moving on to Graveler. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen most of these cards posted as well. Like I said, they're from my personal collection. Again, to not get print lines on these hollows, you've got to be very lucky. There is a few down the bottom there. Catch them in the light. And then on the back. Back of this one does look a lot cleaner. There is a tiny, tiny, minuscule white nick in that right corner. But the back of that does look a lot cleaner. Centering is more off, I would say, maybe the other. So this is where this one lacks. Not as much whitening, but the centering's not as great. Okay. Then we are moving on to Dodrio. Again, the lighter ones are a little bit harder to see on camera where there's print lines. 
actually if I shine that light again you can not many but they're there definitely there and the back right this has a much more prominent white nick down here can you see this whitening on the corner other corners not looking too bad at all again centering slightly off I'd say on the back there okay moving on we are on to dark war turtle now this has just need to look at that up close actually a mark here I don't know if you can see that if I hold that in the right light can you see it? And then we'll look at the rest of the front there. Spin that guy around. And the back. Small little bit of whitening down at the bottom there on the right hand side. Overall though, the back of this one, the whitening is not too bad at all compared to some of the others. Having a look at that centering there, if I look at it up close. Not too bad at all. Okay, so that was Dark War Turtle. Then we have got Dark Slowbro. Love this card. Posted this recently, actually. Doesn't look too bad on the front. And get it from all angles so you can really see the condition there and then the back a bit more whitening than some of the others down here across the bottom white nick on the top centering isn't too bad some more whitening on the dark slow bro then we are moving on to one of one of my favorites venusaur Now let's have a look. What are we saying with print lines? Again, doesn't look too bad. If there's anything that you see and I don't, just point it out in the comments, let me know. I'm trying to look as carefully as possible. Okay, so we've got a bit more whitening on Venusaur down in the bottom corner here. Tiny, tiny bit at the top. And we've got, yeah. Can we see the white nick down here as well? Centering. I would say looks good. But whitening on the Venusaur. Okay, another one that I have posted a few times. And is definitely another one of my favourites. Jolteon. So beautiful, that yellow. Definitely seeing a few scratches on that though. And we'll check the back. Back of Jolteon is very clean. Tiny bit of whitening down on the corner here. Maybe a little bit up here as well, but overall not bad. Centering looks nice as well. Okay, and then... The last card is Omastar. Check the front for any scratches on the hollow. I can see a few there in the middle. And then we'll have a look at the back of Omastar. Yeah, the whitening on this one is a lot more prominent than most of the others, so I'd probably say this would grade the lowest out of them all. Can we see across the bottom there in several places and across the top? Poor old Amistar. So, that's the cards raw. Let me know in the comments at this point right now what you think they're going to get. Because what I'm going to do is we're going to fast forward in time and we are going to now see these cards back with me after they've been graded by Tree Frog, And I'm very, very intrigued and excited to see what they've got. So are you ready? 
and three, two, one, and they're back. Okay, so we're just gonna start from the top and we're gonna work our way through. So I'm gonna show you the card, show you the grade it got, and then we'll discuss what I said at the beginning of the video about the condition of the card. Okay, so first we're gonna have Dark Blastoise and I thought that this would potentially get an eight. So first one, here we go. Spot on. Okay, so let's have a look at the card again. So, subgrades are centering 10, corners 8, edges 8, surface 8. Okay, so previously I said there were some lines on the hollow which would match up. The back on this one was fairly clean. A bit of winding up there. But as you can see, surface got an 8, so that's about right with the marks that I saw on the hollow before. Okay, moving on, we've got Dark Dragonite. This was similar condition to the Blastoise. So, another eight. What do we think? There we go. Okay, centering 9.5, corners eight, edges eight, surface nine. Okay, on this one, I did mention that the centering was slightly off, so that's about right there with the 9.5 on the centering. And we will take a look there. There is a little bit of whitening as you can see in the top corner there. So there we are, Dark Dragonites. Okay, next up we should have Articuno. And what did Articuno get? Articuno got an eight, another eight. Okay, so we've got centering 10, corners eight, edges eight, surface 9.5. These are, again, notoriously hard to grade because as you can see, there's so much going on on the front here. All the hollow. And we will take a look at the back there. Bottom right corner. Bit of whitening. If I tip it there, you should be able to see that. Okay, Articuno. Moving on, we should have a Pokemon Trader. And Pokemon Trader got an eight. Another eight, all eights at the moment. Again, that beautiful reverse hollow from Legendary Collection. So we've got centering 10, corners 7, edges 9, and surface 9.5. I remember that the corners on this weren't as clean. And as you can see in both corners at the bottom, it's kind of harder to see now that it's in the slab because there is a bit of glare. But you can see in that top corner as well, there's a lot more whitening on the corners. So I think they've got that spot on there. Then we are moving on to Weedle. And Weedle got a nine. Okay, our first nine. So we have got centering 10, corners nine, edges eight, and surface nine. Let's give you a little shimmer on that lovely hollow there. And yeah, already I can see it had a much more prominent nick in the bottom corner and up here as well. And yeah. Edges eight and corners nine. Okay. Yeah, again. Again, pop in the comments if you think that the grades are on par with the condition of the card as well. Then we are moving on to Ponyta. And we have got a Bravo 10. Beautiful. We've got that lovely blue holographic frog up there. Such a pretty card. Love this card. So we have got centering 10. Corners 9.5, edges 10, and surface 10. Now, I remember there being some whitening on the edge of this card, but I think because it's so high up, that's where they put, put the corners down, because really that falls onto the corner. Can you see that there, just above the plastic? If I hold it in the light, you should be able to get a glimpse of that. So yeah, that's actually the corner, rather than the edge, which is where the um, corners came down to the 9.5. Okay, then we are moving on to Machop, and Machop got a Bravo 10 again. Lovely. So we have got centering 10, corners 9, edges 9.5, and surface 10. So give you a quick look at the front there. So corners 9 and edges 9.5. I think I remember some minor whitening I can see at the top there on those corners. I mean, I'll hold it up a bit closer so that you can see. Very, very minor whitening, but that's where that's been brought down. That tiny bit on the subgrades, but we still got that lovely Bravo 10. Okay, moving on. We should be on to Dratini. 
And we've got another Bravo 10, lovely. So we've got centering 10, corners 9.5, edges 10, and surface 9.5. If you're wondering why I'm looking down, I've got the list in front of me in the order that I sent them in. So just to make sure I remember what's coming next. Okay, so we've got corners 9.5 and surface 9.5. So I think, again, there was some slight whitening, very slight whitening on the corners there. Sorry, there's a little bit of a glare, so it's not as easy to see. Okay, then we are moving on to Tentacruel. Tentacruel got a 9. And the subgrades are centering 10, corners 8, edges 9, and surface 9. There's that lovely Tentacruel. Again, we are on still on Legendary Collection. So that was corners a and again i think i remember there being a bit more can you see it already top corner there prominent whitening and down here so that's where it's come down on that subgrade okay then we should be on to graveler and we've got a bravo 10 lovely okay so we've got centering 9.5 corners 9.5 edges 10 and surface 9.5 Okay, so I'll just give you a little close up there on the front. And then we will take a look on the back again. Tiny, tiny little nick on that corner. And the centering is very slightly off on this one. I think I remember that from um, earlier in the video. Okay, and next up we have Dodrio. And Dodrio got a eight so we've got 10 on the centering eight on the corners eight on the edges and nine on the surface i think i remember there being a white nick on the back here and there can you see it down there got my words mixed up there that white nick in the corner a little bit of whitening up the top as well okay then we should be on to a dark war total and we've got a bravo 10 so we have got 10 on the centering, 9 on the corners, 9 on the edges, and 10 on the surface. Just love these legendary collection cards so much. Let's take a look at the back there. So that is dark water to a very, very tiny bit of whitening, but so minute you can hardly see it. Okay, then we are moving on to dark slowbro. And we've got a 9, so we've got centering 9.5, corners 8, edges 9.5, and surface 9.5. So let's give you a nice close-up there on the front. Again, not as easy to see compared to the raw cars because there is a bit of glare. But can you see there's that white nick on the top up there? Um, but again, a lovely card. Okay, then we are moving on to one of my favourites again, Venusaur. And Venusaur got a 9, lovely. So we've got centering 10, corners 8, edges 9, and surface 9.5. Let's give you a nice close-up on the front there, just so you can have a look at that lovely reverse hollow. And then the back. Can we see the white nick down in the corner here? Tiny little bit of white in there as well. Okay, then we are moving on to Jolteon. Jolteon got a 9. Another one with 10 for the centering. I remember this being good on centering. Corners 8, edges 9.5 and surface 9.5. Beautiful, beautiful card. Probably one of my favourites from Legendary. And a little look on the back there. A little bit of whitening on that top corner and that bottom corner. But again, very, very minimal. Okay, and lastly, we have got a Omastar. Now, can you already see there's a little bit of whitening on the top there? So, what did Omastar get? Three, two, one, nine. Okay, so we've got centering 10, corners 9, edges 8. Yep, so that matches up with the whitening on the back there and the surface 9. So, let's give that a little shimmer on the front for you. And then on the back for Omastar. Okay, so in summary, very, very happy with the service providing. I paid for this submission, so I used their standard submission um, service level and the cards came back quicker than the time stated on the website, so that is great, thumbs up for that. Second of all, I wanted to point out the communication. They have been so quick 
to respond. They have been so helpful from start to finish. Um, that is something that I really, really like with a company, customer service to be 10 out of 10 because there is nothing worse than dealing with any company in any area of life when no one gets back to you, you don't know what's going on, whether you're buying products from them or whatever you're using them for, their services, etc. So 10 out of 10 for the customer service side, um, TreeFrog have done that very, very well. So there was just one more thing that I wanted to say before I finished the video. Um, in the first video, I said for the Bravo 10 and Alpha 10, the only thing I could liken it to that's kind of like around would be um, Beckett 10 and a Beckett Black Label. But I think from submitting more cards and obviously seeing their grading guidelines and viewing the subgrades and then seeing what the grade gets, I'd probably say a Bravo 10 is closer to a say Beckett 9.5 slash 10, whereas a Alpha, which is the Pink Frog, um, would be closer to a 10 slash Black Label. So I just wanted to say that because I mentioned that in my first video. So overall, very, very happy. Like I said, for this submission, I actually paid for it myself. This was not free um, because I was so happy with the free service that I received. I wanted some, to submit some of my own cards and I thought they did a very, very good job. So I'm very, very pleased with that. So if you haven't already, please leave a like, please subscribe. Also, please leave in the comments your opinions. We'd love to hear your feedback. Tree Frog would also love to hear it because I know they're going to be watching this video. So thank you very much and I will see you again soon.